hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will create the inventory system for our game so for that right here in the hierarchy let's go ahead and click on ui and inside the ui click on canvas let's name this canvas as inventory canvas after this in the scene window change to 2d and let's focus on the inventory canvas then inside the inventory canvas let's go ahead and create a ui panel let's name this panel as inventory as well and then for now let's make it transparent after this inside this inventory canvas now let's go ahead and create another panel and this panel name will be menu let's make it darker and then we will change the source image of this panel so if we go inside sprites right here we have this new moon so let's drag and drop that in there and now as you can see this is the background but we need to make this in the shape of a circle so we will have to resize this so if we click on it and then click on this react tool then let's move it right here then from this side as well actually let's move it a little bit more like that okay and turn on the gizmo so that we can know where is our inventory canvas and then where is our menu as you can see okay so i think it looks like a circle now if we check it in our game in the full screen as you can see now inside the maximize screen it is not a circle so let's go ahead right here again and actually let's click on that and click on the alt button and let's make it on the middle center and once you change the react transform to middle center then let's get back to the game window and let's click on maximize and now as you can see it looks like a circle now okay and once that is done let's make the color of it a little bit transparent as you can see now after this we need to add the borders for our four rifles so inside this menu let's create a ui image but we can just use an empty game object as well because these are just the borders okay this is just the borders parent main game object so name it as border and make sure that the react transform of it is on the middle center okay then now inside the borders now we will create a image let's name this as line one let's duplicate it and rename this second one to line two for now let's disable the line two or delete it actually okay and now for the line one we need this line sprite so let's drag and drop the sprite right here in the source image and you will not see the line because it is smaller as you can see so now let's resize it first of all make sure that it is in the, on the middle center then let's drag and drop this like this okay let's make the width of it as 900 the height will be 10 not 100 but we can change this value to something like 150 and now as you can see here is the line let's make it 200 and as you can see now the line is showing right here and if you check it in the game view here it is now we need to just change the width of it so let's make the width as 1000 let's change it to 1200 and now let's make sure that this line meets the menu border so do that and let's move to the other side 
and do that as well now if we check it in the game view here it is as you can see let's fix this fix this okay now as you can see it looks beautiful like that now let's add the line 2 as well so what we will do is we will duplicate this and change this to line 2 and then right here in the rotation on the z axis let's make this as 90 and now as you can see it is in this direction as you can see okay let me maximize it okay we need to resize this a little bit so let's get back to the scene view click on line 2 let's focus right here and move it down below now right here as well okay so as you can see it looks fine let me just move this a little bit down below from the top side and now it matches the whole menu panel perfectly fine so the border and the menu is now created now let's go ahead and add the rifle images for doing that inside this menu okay not inside the borders inside the menu what we will do we will create a ui legacy button let's name this button as handgun then let's remove this image component from the button and also remove the text as well and get back to the scene view here is our handgun button let's move it to the top left then let's drag and drop it right here okay and then let's resize the button so that it fits this whole area okay like this so make sure that it fits this area which is for the handgun and once you do that in here let's create a ui image and this image will be this handgun image and click on this handgun make sure it is in the middle center and also resize this a little bit okay like this for example now if we maximize this now as you can see here it is this is our handgun let's resize this a little bit more okay and that is it so the handgun will be showing like this in our inventory after our handgun now we need the shotgun so we will duplicate this and let's change its name to shotgun and this shotgun will be on the bottom left side right there so let me get back to the scene view here it is as you can see let's move this somewhere right there okay make sure that it matches this gun borders okay let me zoom in so that we can see it correctly okay i think right here it will look fine let's change the image of it to this shotgun as you can see and then let's make sure that it is in the middle center and also resize it because the shotgun size was bigger so make sure that this is bigger as well okay now if we save this and check it on the full screen as you can see it looks perfectly fine now after the shotgun we need the uzi so for that let's duplicate the handgun again and let's name this as user die 
and then get back to scene view now the user eye will be on the top right right there and then make sure that it matches the border of this handgun okay so let me do that okay i think it looks good like this let's move it a little bit right there okay and then let's change the image to user eye and then let's resize the image as well a little bit okay so it looks fine let me maximize the screen okay it looks good but we need to resize the image a little bit more and that will be it as you can see and then after that make sure that it is on the middle center okay let me check the handgun as well as you can see let's make the shotgun as well on the middle center now after doing that now let's duplicate the shotgun let's change its name to bazooka and this bazooka will be on the bottom right okay change into the scene view there it is let's now move this up there so that it matches the shotgun area okay now let's move this right there as well and then inside the image let's add the bazooka image and we need to resize this image like that and make sure it is in the middle center and you guys will be thinking that the bazooka is different in the game and right here it is different this is because at first I was thinking to add this bazooka but then I changed my mind and add the other bazooka if you want to use that bazooka image then you can just take a screenshot of that bazooka okay let me show you in the guns prefabs rocket you can change into model and then you can take a picture of this like this okay and then you can make that image a uh, PNG image so that the background is removed and then you can just drag and drop that image right here and I have added this cartoon type effect to my rifle okay because if you see the GTA 5 game the weapon images in the inventory look a little bit cartoonish so that's why I did that okay so now as you can see our menu look really beautiful if you see it but now you guys will be thinking that how this inventory will work okay because we don't want to show all of the rifles in the inventory if the player didn't pick up okay we will type all of the code for that okay we will add some logic and then our inventory will be fully functional for now we will be we're creating the design and as you can see the design of the inventory is looking really beautiful okay so in the upcoming videos we will make this ui okay this inventory ui fully functional and the last thing which is remaining in this inventory section is that we need to add tags to all of these inventory rifles okay so let's go ahead and add the tags so the first tag will be for the handgun so we will say hand gun ui okay you can name this tag similar to mine if you want to follow me okay but if you are using some different tag names then make sure that you remember that tag names correctly or else when we will be typing our script you will get errors okay so i will suggest that you guys just follow me and type the name as it is as mine okay handgun ui and the g right here is small 
then click save after this let's add the other tag which will be shotgun ui okay click save then the next tag will be user i ui and after this the next one will be bazooka ui click save now let's add all of these tags so this will be the handgun ui this will be the shotgun ui then this one will be the user i ui and this will be the bazooka ui that is it so once all of these tags are done let's end this video right here